so here we are looking at short key ttl nand gate we have seen short key diode and short key transistor now i am accommodating those transistor and diode in ttl circuit what we have seen that makes a short key ttl nand gate you are already aware of ttl nand gate this transistor was there this transistor was there this transistor was there and this transistor was there in totem pole you had a diode as well here then uh, this is a new part here new addition new addition and these guys are new addition you can see so i have used a short key transistor instead of a normal transistor you can see with an s uh, and uh, uh, make sure this q4 transistor the last transistor is not short key uh, the reason behind this is it will never go into saturation that's the benefit of short key uh, transistor uh, here you can see short key diodes rest all the circuit looks similar there are some changes here you can see the resistances values are uh, less so all the major changes which uh, uh, which you can see here i have listed here major changes in compared to what compared to ttl nand gate what you have seen before if you will introduce short key uh, diode and short key transistor what are the major changes you can see here short key transistor is the main main change you can see except one q4 here and uh, 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 you have a short key diode as well here right it is not a normal diode it is short key diode connected between ground and the input then you have low resistance values low resistance values this is uh, one change then you have darlington pull up this this arrangement of q5 and q4 is darlington pair uh, why we uh, have introduced this i'll tell you everything then you have active pull down uh, instead of a resistor you have a active pull down here you can see before you had one resistor so uh, resistor only and this was connected to directly to this this q4 here we have this new extra addition extra addition and uh, there is no diode at the output in totem pole you have seen that the output was not available so here also it is not available you can see uh now the working will be similar to ttl but uh, sttl means short key ttl will be much more faster uh, that's the benefit we are getting uh, from uh, from uh, uh, ttl compared to ttl now why what are the uh, benefits we are getting from from introducing this major changes that is what i'm going to tell short key transistor we are using because you are already aware that it will never go into saturation it will only toggle between active and cut off so that's why it has uh, uh, we have eliminated the storage time storage time means uh, the time required to remove the charges from the base of the transistor so that part is being removed because we are using um, short key transistor and hence we are getting much more switching speed right then short key diodes we are using these diodes these are just for for uh, 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 from saving the circuit from spikes you can see that short key diode is one p junction is connected to zero and the n junction is connected to inputs if there will be a spike negative spike in 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 uh, in the input these two diodes will start conducting because this guy will be zero and this part will be uh, less uh, less than zero so it will start conducting and if it will start conducting it will clamp the voltage to to some certain value and the cut in voltage will be 0 0.2 0 0.3 volt only so this this input cannot go beyond po minus 0 0.2 or minus 0 0.3 volt right so that's why just to keep the uh, the input levels uh, within the limits okay so it, so that it will not go below a certain value it, it should be above that so that's the reason you are using the short key diodes for then you have low resistances uh, low resistances are there you can see uh, low resistances as you have seen in ttl as well low resistance leads to to high current from the supply it will draw more current and that's the reason more power dissipation will be there power dissipation is what current from the supply how much it is being taken into the uh, supply voltage so if you will draw more current because less resistances are there it will you will have more power dissipation but why we are having less resistance because more current will flow 
if more current will flow uh, through the circuit uh, it will be uh, easier to charge a capacitor which is connected to y okay so uh, the charging time constant will be very less if the resistances values are le less so that is uh, the advantage and uh, and uh, uh, and that that's the one then uh, you are having darlington pull up so this part so darlington pair has the property of current gain right uh, multiplying current gain so whatever the current being flown here at the, the emitter you will be having beta times of that right and then again this beta times i current flowing through q4 will be having uh, beta square it will become beta square current so the here at the emitter of q4 you will have beta square times the current you are it, the flowing at the base of q5 so why we need more current because more current will be able to uh, fast charge okay at uh, the capacitor so hence the output voltage become high faster okay more current will uh, will charge the capacitor faster so that's the reason darlington pair is there uh, and you you are having very less resistance seen from the from the uh, y to up if you look the uh, resistances looking from here it will have uh, the input resistance divided by the the beta square times so it will get very reduced means resistances in few ohms you only you will get hence more current will come from here right so that's the reason the Darlington pair is there so uh, more current gain or you can look at an in a way that it will show low resistance okay so that is the reason Darlington pull up is there now active pull down you can see instead of a resistance you are using a transistor that's why it is called as active pull down uh, previously it was called as pull down only by a resistance so the objective behind this is uh, uh, when this will be active uh, this guy will uh, draw more current corresponding to this because it's an active pull up so uh, if you if you want to know about active and low pull up, uh, normal pull up so resistance is if you will have this is this is how the curve will look like uh, so uh, iv characteristics right if you have a resistance if you had a resistance here but since you are having a pull up pull down sorry so you will be having some zero resistances and then it will increase like this so initially it will be having very low current okay almost negligible current it will be taking here and what is the voltage and the current drawn by this this guy okay so that's that's how this this figure will represent this one so it means that it will uh, it will consume very less current uh, when it is active and most of the current will be given to q3 that is what we want right this is just and the another advantage of using this is when it this transistor is switching from uh, on to off this this guy will drive more current and so that the charges from q3 will be able to eject out easily okay means fastly so that's the reason there's these two reasons are there which is use, uh, why we are using active pull down now the last one is no diode at the output no diode at the output means why we don't need because we have a two transistor now so it was 0 0.7 plus 0 0.7 right here also it is 0 0.7 plus 0 0.7 so the removal of diode is served by this this uh, q4 transistor the diode was just providing the facility of um, either this part of the circuit will be connected to y or either this part was connected so that is uh, and the point that is differentiated by the 0.7 volt right so 0.7 volt is now being provided by this transistor plus 0.7 volt by this other another transistor so that is how you had right like this and then you had a transistor so 0.7 by this 0.7 like this so instead of that you have 0.7 by diode like this and 0.7 here so that is why we don't need a um, a diode it is being served by the q4 transistor only plus also if they, this will be a common collector type of configuration so uh, it will always be in either active or cut off right that's why it will not go into a saturation because this will provide enough current to be in active not in saturation so that's why we don't have to use a short key diode here 
oh, sorry short key transistor here so that is uh, the reasons for why we are using it and you might have guessed that how it is being uh, faster now and uh, working will be similar to ttl uh, but uh, uh, this this sttl is much faster you know that so one any one of the input is low then what will happen this q1 will be active in active region so it will not uh, it will try to draw the charges out from the q2 this guy will not be active right it will be in uh, in in cutoff if this is in cutoff these two guys will be in cutoff because they will not be getting any current so why will be connected to this open upper circuit and uh, because of that this is providing low resistance you will be having high output right so any of the input is low the output will be high and if both the inputs are high what will happen this will be in 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 cutoff uh, not uh, cutoff it uh, it will be in uh, in in reverse active mode right reverse no not reverse active this guy cannot uh, go in reverse active right hmm. so how the circuit will work then hmm. this guy will get okay okay so this will not be followed by snow okay so if this will be uh, um, uh, high high then uh, this will be reverse biased since here there is a short key diode connected which is providing 0 0.3 so we want 0 0.7 plus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.3 so that will be provided by this guy right so yeah so this will be uh, 0.3 volt yeah no no not 0 0.3 0 0.7 positive negative positive negative and this will be positive negative yeah 0.7 plus 0.7 plus 0.7 this will be provided to and um, uh, sufficient voltage and current will come so this will be in reverse active and uh, the this will provide current to this transistor q2 and q2 will get current so this will provide to q3 and q6 but q3 will have more current uh, because we have seen the characteristics of active pull down if this guy will get more current here there won't be any current going to this part because all the current will be taken by q2 so this will be active and if it is active it will provide some 0 0.8 0 0.9 or 1 volt across it so i will be connected to that so the logic level voltage is, has been increased okay so now you won't be getting 0 0.2 volt you'll be getting much more than that and here the it will not get sufficient current that's why this will not be active okay this will be in cutoff so hopefully uh, you have got the uh, the uh, understanding of how the circuit is being work working and uh, this is it uh, also uh, this is having I, i'll show you the characteristics later later on okay so that uh, you will get much better uh, idea what what uh, extra thing it is being providing okay now these are some characteristics of uh, short key ttl nand gate here are the characteristics advantage and disadvantage i've written characteristics you can see basic gate is a nand gate again main advantage is your propagation delay is very low three are about two to three nanoseconds which makes it very high speed and then power dissipation is 20 milliwatt which is high power dissipation so the product is around 60 picojoules not good because power dissipation is high noise margin will be around 0.7 to 0.8 volt fan out is another uh, benefit of short key ttl 20 around it is having so these two black ones are its advantage high fan out and high speed high speed means low power uh, delay or power propagation delay high fan out you can see means why it is having high fan out because uh, more uh, high current flows uh, through those resistors because the resistor value is less and it can drive a uh, lot more uh, gates at the output then disadvantage is uh, high power dissipation and uh, you need to use more circuit elements extra transistors resistances are required in this circuit so that is sort of one example a disadvantage you can uh, think so this is about short key ttl line and um, here you can see we are uh, not using the transistor in saturation region and hence we are getting higher speed or less propagation delay
now another type of non saturated logic family is emitter coupled logic but there we won't be using short key diode we'll be using their or short key transistor there we will be using some uh, we'll be playing around with voltages so that the transistors normal transistors will not go into the saturation and we'll be able to achieve much more faster almost around one nanosecond of uh, delay that makes the ecl or emitter coupled logic uh, fastest one okay so let's see uh, emitter coupled now